Hey guys, what's going on? Accurate here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. So, sort of hold up here in the uh, barn. Um, I'm pulling out the flare gun yet again. And I am literally uh, playing during the same gaming session as the last episode. So if you guys left some helpful tips or, hey, you forgot this and I keep ignoring you. Again, it's it's not, it's just because I haven't seen your, your message yet. But let's do a quick little bit of exploration here. I think I might have missed something. I can't remember. I seem to remember someone early on in the comments saying, hey, you missed, ah, whetstone. I think that's what it was. So that's a good find. Yeah, very good find. I think that's exactly what it was. Um, anyway. <laughs> let's just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything else. We may or may not stay here. I might just keep going. I don't know. We got some antiseptic. We'll take that with us. And uh, empty, empty, search. What are we doing here? A book. And uh, sweater. Sweater, sweater. Eh, let's take the sweater. We can use that for scrap. Right? Okay. And what else have we missed? Did I miss anything else? Ammo. I think I checked really good for ammo. I think that's probably why I missed everything else. Was the... So, training my eyes to look for those little rifle rounds everywhere. Eh, we already... Oh, we haven't even... I didn't even search this. I think that might have been another comment. Was, hey, you completely did not search this toolbox here. Could end up being useful. Worn work gloves. We'll take that. That's going to be a piece of leather. Oh, and a pry bar. Okay. Well, we got an extra pry bar. If we need it. I don't think we do, but if we do. Okay. So... Searched. What do we leave behind here? Uh, let's we'll take that. We'll take that. All right. We'll use that to uh, repair our hacksaw a little bit when we get home. Yeah, I don't really want to stay here tonight. I want to keep moving. What do you guys say? I say we go for it. Sounds like it might be getting a little mean out there. Okay. Nine degrees. So it feels like nine degrees if I took off all my clothes. I think I got the arrows from over here. Uh oh, here comes a wolf right at me. Can I drop a decoy? Eat your eat your brother's uh, guts. Eat him. And choke on him and die. Yeah, he's I think he's going for this. I think it worked. Are there any other wolves out here? I think I see something over here. That's a hippity hop rabbit. Make sure we're still not getting... Oh yeah, we're still getting tracked. I'm gonna have to drop that other decoy. Not too worried about it. Uh, I'm gonna come over this slight defilade and I know there's gonna be wolves everywhere. Watch. Nope, there they are. I think that's wolves. Yeah, there's are wolves over there. Is that is that wolf now going for that decoy that I dropped? I think he probably did. He's a smart wolf, wasn't he? He's like, I don't want any part of that. That's my brother Brian. I hate his guts. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, I think we're good. We got the wind at our back. Thank God, because if we went this way, it would be like really slow going. Let's go while the while the trade winds are, uh, are are benefiting us, right? Let's let's keep going. And I'm just gonna keep pushing this deer ahead of me. Use him as a blocker. Oh, don't you just ah uh, man, you just uh, he zigs when he's supposed to zag sometimes. And bring out the bring out the whiteboard. Do the whole X's and O's. Run the plays, and then, he, and then he runs an off route like that. Come on. Just completely screws it all up. Okay. I see the silo. We came, we came back a really roundabout way, but we made it. And it still feels like 50 degrees. I have got to be looking like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man walking through here. I kind of think maybe I should make deer skin boots a priority because maybe it will help me not break my ankles so so much. And I know they're sprains, but my gosh, the way they pop, it sounds like a break to me. So that's the, that's what I call that's why I call it a break. 
Plus, it's a tough break. Yeah. Okay. We made it home. Made it home. Let's just look for bears. There's a wolf right there. He's kind of close to home. Oh, I can't tell if there's a bear back here because of the wolf being right there. There's a deer over there. That's good. Eh, he's not as close as I thought. All right, let's get inside. Yeah, I know you're tired, but we're going, man, I'm just going to run. These little noises are creeping me out. I want to find that burn barrel real quick. Where's that at? Is this it right here? Is that a burn barrel? It is. I can use that. Oh, what's in here? Cool. Check it out. I can use that. That's going to be excellent. That is going to be excellent. Okay. So let's get this wolf pelt down here. Maybe he was pinging the wolf pelt. Maybe that's why he kept ignoring the decoy. I don't know. These should be cured by now, right? Oh, the bear hide's still not cured yet. Wow. Okay, it takes a while. It takes a while. It's a, it's, there's a lot to cure. Okay, so let's... Oh, I think these are already cured, aren't they? <laughs> let's drop this one. Um, and uh, let me see here. We'll, uh, I'm just going to leave all my pelts here. Um, I'm not going to try to like put my cured ones in any other particular spot. So let's do that. Uh, I, think I, might, I might actually put the rabbit pelts up here because they're kind of hard to see. I think. Check. Pretty sure they're pretty hard to see. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not that bad. Okay. And a wolf belt. There we go. Can I make anything else out of the wolf? Got three extra pelts. I can shoot. I can almost make a second jacket. You can double up on the jackets. Double up on the uh, the scariness. Okay, so I'm going to need to definitely repair the hacksaw before I forget. I don't want to lose that because that's a good source of scrap metal. And we're getting to that point in the game where we're going to start using scrap metal to do things. Um, okay, so what else can I do with... I guess I could have checked in my menu. It, it allows you to do that now. Uh, wolf skin. Yeah, it's, that's the only thing you can do with wolf skins. Okay, yeah. Cool. And there's my rabbit skin pelts. Before that. I think I have two up in the... Uh, maybe they're down here. Yeah, they're here. Okay. And then two there. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow uh, after I get some rest. I want to try to... What I actually what should do, probably, is dedicate time to reading the book. And I can do that over by the... Uh, I can just do that outside. And not have to worry about it. You know, like stuff to carry. cabin fever, stuff like that. So let's get inside here. Drop some of the stuff we got here. What's this doing? That's still fresh. The gamey stuff at 88%. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, the cold weather out here is really keeping that nice and fresh. All right, another person also mentioned that if you cook tea and I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, yeah, hush up. I'm trying to talk. He's so rude. Uh, if you if you cook up your tea and your and your coffees, always make sure you do that because that helps with your cooking skill. Um, let's see. Do I have anything for this? I think yeah, my my military coat, right? Be one of those type of things. Uh, little sweater. Now that's gonna go upstairs. Your military coat. Let's throw that in there. Uh, some worn gloves. That's kind of like outdoor stuff. Yeah, we're gonna throw those in there. Mm. Anything else? That's gonna go upstairs. That I'm wearing. Well, that'll go upstairs. All right. Everything else is upstairs. Let's go to our doodad cabinet. All right, and uh, yeah, we're up to 58 pounds of stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. I actually don't need the can openers anymore, but I'll leave it there. Maybe when I move out, the next survivor will be like, oh my god, a can opener. I, I always needed that. Um, it's the exact model I wanted. Gets great. They had great reviews on Amazon back in the day. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's just do it by category. It's easier to think things through this way. The noodle it out. Transfer all. It's for all. There we go. So now we have like a gazillion matches. And uh, what else? All right, we got like four fire starters. Uh, total two mag magnifying glasses. More matches. And I'm sure there's more stuff down here too. Yeah, even more matches. And 84 right there. Yeah, we're good on matches. 
Okay, so we can throw that over there. I don't need that anymore. Mm. That's going to go in the medicine drawer. I, I'm I'm about to the point where I need to keep ten painkillers on me at all times. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to get opioid addicted here. Um, that's all we already talked about that. That's not this category. Let's see here. Uh, hatchet. I'll need all this stuff. Really don't need the pry bar, but every time I leave my pry bar behind, I'm like, dang, I wish I had a pry bar. So we're going to definitely repair the hack salt, though. Priority one before we forget. So I'm going to read tonight, and then tomorrow... Ah, heck, I might just do the hack salt tonight so I don't, don't forget. Do we have... Where's our... We have three whetstones. That's nice. Got some rocks in there, just just because. Uh, a few arrows, a lot of repair, a lot of repairing kits. It's good. Extras of everything, pretty much. An extra hacksaw, actually. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, and crow feather. Blah, 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 blah. That looks good. We're down under weight. Um, saplings. I can take most of this stuff and put it down in the in the basement here, pretty quickly. E. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna, I am going to go ahead and let's let's put everything here down in the crafting area in our in our little sh in our little workshop. There we go. Okay, now let's dump our meds that we don't need. I think I have an extra antiseptic or something like that. Okay. Medicines. I need both of those. Need that one stem. Bandages three. That's re reasonable to ca carry. Uh, antibiotics. Don't need that many of antibiotics. I probably only don't even need six, but we'll just leave it. That's fine. Um, yeah, that looks good. Head on upstairs. Get rid of our extra clothing. The the sweater and the thermal underwear. Like thin thermal underwear, or whatever it was. Okay. Uh, let's here yep yeah, this one get rid of that and get rid of where you at where you be I know you're in here somewhere There's something else there it is right there it's already selected should just double clicked okay now 64 pounds let's take that stuff down to the basement and let's let's craft up that uh let's get crafting before nightfall if we do that then we can uh it'll it should let us finish I think I think that's how it works I can't remember if this. Yeah, it's it's that's the way it is with crafting. Oops, did I go the wrong way? I must have went the wrong way. Or am I on the exact opposite side of the house? I am. I'm on the exact opposite side of the house. I never realized that was a burn barrel because it's so low in the ground. So to the uh, the viewer that commented and uh, mentioned that, thank you so much. Very very helpful. Very helpful. Water heater's not working anymore too bad. Go for a nice, warm, hot bath. Or shower. Probably shower. Shower first, then a bath. Yeah. Okay, so... I think we're almost full. Oh, no, we're not. We're not even close to being full here. We will be by the time I get done throwing all this junk in here, though. I think. Okay. Uh, hold on. This is crafting stuff. Let's do it like this. Let's do it the right way. Eh? Eh? I'll keep the cloth with me, because I can do that anywhere. It's good there. Don't need to put anything in there, I don't think. Nope. Okay, so what I need is I need one of these pieces of scrap metal. Make sure one. And then I just need to Grab this quality tool, and then I should be able to fix my... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, you do a repair like this. What am I talking about? What am I doing? Where are you at? There you are. How much is it going to... Only 25? Whoa. I'm going to have to use three pieces of scrap metal just to repair this. But luckily, you can just use this to make more scrap metal. And as long as you have uh, toolkits, you're good to go. I think you need a toolkit, don't you? Pretty sure you do. Let me try this. I want to see if you need a toolkit. Yeah, I need a... Requires quality. Okay, I was like, where is it not telling... Where's it telling me that? Right down there. Big red letters. By big red letters, I mean like 
smaller font than most other fonts in the game. Okay. So, let's repair this up here. There we go. Into the night. Here's one, and let's grab some more materials here. I'm gonna grab like two more. Oops. That's not what I need. That's not what I need at all. Two, two more of those. And we should be at 100% when I get done. If it'll let me go into the dark. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. It probably will because if you if you need to repair your hacksaw and you're, it's like life or death and you're trying to start a fire, it's probably going to let you do it. Let's see. Yeah. It's, I think. Okay. Let's try one more time. We're at 78, so... Yeah, we're not going to get that last 3%. That's okay. Close enough. I don't feel bad about wasting that last 3%. Can't repair in the dark. Answers that question, but luckily it did not use our scrap metal, so we just have to wait for for daytime. Alright. Or I can just leave it where it's at for now. Pretty good. 78% is not bad. Eh. We'll fix it in the morning. Uh, well, I was going to put my rifle away, but then I thought to myself, I have run into bears and wolves outside this thinking house, so I better get my rifle back out. Okay. Wow. Really pretty night. If it wasn't for all the beasties out here, I'd want to, like, and, and the fact that I don't have any of the ingredients, I'd just go out there and make some s'mores. Try to find a beer somewhere. Just watch the stars. Alright, well, we are back home. And that is a ruined whetstone. Don't get too excited. So, somehow we made it back here. I have checked that already. Yes, I have. Alright, let's do a little inventory check here now that I've done all this. Uh, there's that. That's fine. That's fine. All that looks good. Uh, we can dump a lot of that. Yeah, let's do that real quick. And I can, I'm gonna, yeah, you know what, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to those crackers because they're starting to get pretty funky. I don't, I don't think the crackers give you food poisoning, but if I, if they do, we're gonna be here anyway for a little while doing things. Of course, I don't know if you can actually craft or read books when you're food poisoned. I think you have to recover from it fully. Uh, goes with the territory. Oh, wait, hold on. It, oh, I'm looking at these, I'm looking at these energy bars. I was thinking the crackers were that was that number, but it's not. The yeah, crackers are alright. Yeah, that's gonna say the crackers don't seem to go bad. For, it takes a long time. Uh, we can eat these two energy bars tonight and see if we get lucky or not. I don't know. Fingers crossed. It's gonna be a game. It's it's gonna be a gamble. It will be. So let's uh, let's throw these MREs in here and throw all that in there. Sure, why not? And these are herbal teas. Sure. Okay, fine. And uh. Yeah, we got plenty of, look at that, all that coffee. Wow, we are in good shape. And we still have 4.37. I do need some water. Night. There we go. 60 pounds. Not bad. I can put this away now. Head upstairs and get some Z's, guys. Let's get some Z's back in our own bed. And let's see where we wake up this time. Hopefully, uh, it's right about in this general area here. And it's not like, you know, at the forge or something in in uh in uh for long. Alright. Where are we at here? We are not an hour and twenty three minutes into this I episode. What are you talking water. about? Oh there it is. Twenty minutes in. Oh nineteen. Okay. Um get something to eat. Take a gamble, people. Let's do it. Ah. Rapper gamble. Alright. Good enough. And we're going to have to stay full while we uh, read, but we have all that bear meat out there. I'm not really worried about the parasites or anything like that. We it, we just eat it at a, at a rate that's sensible. And uh, it should keep us from being hungry while we study. we got like a lot of studying to do about guns. How cool. About shooting in particular. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm doing up downs. There we go. Whew. Getting my uh, get my late night uh, exercise routine in here. Don't wanna, you know, wanna go to bed and realize that I forgot to, uh, to do my little workout today. You know, run, climbing up mountains and running from wolves and you know spraining my ankles and wrists at the exact same time and all the pain meds. Just not the same as doing a little bit of this right here. You wake up, you do this 15 times every morning. Live to be about 125. Okay. So, I think it's time to get some sleep. 100% condition. Let's do it. Eh, let's do 10 hours. Hey, we're going to wake up before that, but that's okay. Ooh. Sounds mean. Day 43. 21 hours, 8 minutes. Almost day 44. We're getting, we're getting there. We're getting a lot closer than we were. Alright, so where are we at here? We need a drink. And uh, I think we go down and we prepare that hacksaw the last little bit. And then we do some reading. And we're not going to just read anywhere. We're going to make sure we read in our nice uh, little reading spot there. And uh, take a peek out here see how bad it is. Sounds bad. It sounds bad. It doesn't feel so bad. But it's pretty bad. Let's be honest. Yeah, negative six. Even with all my gear. What does that mean it is? Like negative 60? Something like that? Wow. Let's take these rabbit pelts and put them up here since we have the other ones up here. Eh, I'm not going to do the rabbit pelt mitts yet. I'll wait. we got other things to do. I want to get my shooting skill up. Staying warm is not a huge deal to us right now. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright, there we go. Clear my throat. Cured guts. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, and I still got the tools. I guess I could have done it upstairs, actually. I didn't even need to come down here. That's sort of a waste of time. forgot I still had the tools with me. All right, well, now that we're here, let's just go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Yeah, let's just repair it. Make it so. I probably should probably should have went outside and did it, but man, it was pretty freaking cold out there. Okay, so, oh, let me put back the quality tools. I don't need to be carrying this around with me. Those are like two pounds or 2.2 pounds, I think. Let me drop those and put those back. Uh, make that 1.65 pounds. Nice even 1.65 pounds. Alright. Are they always at... Wait. No, I'm wearing them out. <laughs> That's the pro... I was right. I was right. Look at me. <laughs> uh, it's the one time in this episode I'll be right. Right there. I get one per episode, so since the series started, I've been right about, what, 18 times? If you include this one. How are we doing on food? We're good on food. Uh oh I thought I heard a bark. Did you guys hear a bark? I am so freaking skittish now. 75 degrees in here. Haha. <laughs> Looks to be you wolves and bears and mooses on my... Okay. Alright, let's get it back over here to our little study chair. And this is where the bear's arms just reach right through and crash through that window and just grab me and suck me right out of the out of the house. But it hasn't happened yet, so. But it will. One of these days. Okay. I feel like sitting doing this studying in here and kinda of hanging out, kinda of, kinda of seeing how bad Mama Juju ended up where she was. But uh you know what? Let's let's do a little do a little weird reload there. I don't know what that was. That was interesting. Okay. So we got 10, we got 42 rounds. Look at that. Alright, let's go put that down. You don't, well, I guess if you are studying guns, you would be beneficial to have one. So, I'm going to say we don't need that to study guns. Actually, it wouldn't be, wouldn't hurt. Okay. Be better if it's, much better if it's unloaded. Um, let's see three hours here. That. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, let's do another three. 
We're just spending a day reading here, guys. Just, just reading. Studying up. A drink. Go out and grab a little bit of bear meat. No, on that for a little while. Some frozen bear meat. Storms passed. Wait a minute. Which way do I go? I got it this way. Still trying to, still trying to figure out the exfiltration layout here. Okay. I think I got some gamey somewhere. I'll take that. Try to... Okay. Back in the door we go. Let's just go ahead and eat this here real quick. Yes, yes, yes. I know. A risk of intestinal parasites. Yeah, a whopping 4% risk. Okay, so there we go. Now we got some calories on board. We're ready to... Uh... Wow, look at our little library. We're going to be able to start ourselves a little community library here. Now, can you imagine being a survivor that walks into this house after I leave it and being like, you're freaking kidding me. This is amazing. And just getting all this good stuff that I'm going to... I'm going to have to leave, leave behind quite a bit of it. But, uh, you know, I can always fall back here later on if I need to. I don't know. I don't know why you'd have to fall back from Coastal, really, but if I guess if I had to, for some reason, like, Coastal, like, doppelganger things started coming across and, you know, eating the world up or something. Um, that was the name of that movie, wasn't it? The Doppelgangers or something? That weird Stephen King movie? From like, the 70s or 80s? I think it was the 80s. Uh, it had to be the 80s. Okay, so let's read a book here. Well, we are past halfway through our book now. Yep. And we can keep going here. Ah, I wouldn't let me keep going. <laughs> Stop me. Stop me! Alright, well, starting to get a little bit tired. Uh, what else can I do? Hmm. I kind of wish the uh, Aurora happened tonight. Ooh, I got it right. I was trying to get tired. I don't know. Maybe I'll just fall. Maybe I'll just get some sleep. That might be just the best course of action. Just get some sleep. Alright, let's put this away. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. Hey, what do you guys think? We're not going to... Well, I think we'll get eight, maybe. Eh. We'll get six. I think we'll get six. You never really can tell. But I'm best... I'm betting we wake up fully rested. Yeah. So it means it... it interjected. We're going to get the... Stay nice and limber. Okay, there we go. Let's go back down here and... Wait, what am I doing? It's too dark to read. Let's go ahead and uh, drink up here. I don't have much water left. I do. I have a lot in the refrigerator. I'm kidding. <laughs> I have plenty of water. Okay, let's just go ahead and pass time here. Calories are just pouring off of us at this rate. Sleeping is so much better. Um... See, only it's like half the half the calorie. It's not even. Yeah, it's what sixty percent then exactly. Then some wicked storms coming through here. Oh yeah, I think we can. And yeah, we can most definitely start uh get back to studying here. And then we're going to have to spend some time outdoors because we're going to be at risk for cabin fever at this rate. Oh, wait. I need... That's what I, exactly what I needed. Go transfer that over. Get a little drink here. There we go. Let's go get our study on. I think we can get through it. I think we can get through the rest of it. 
get in the chair there. Oh, oh that feels good. Okay. Whew. Got a little seat. What are we doing on the infection? Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Research. About five hours here. Oh, why is stomach's growling? They've got plenty to digest unless it's the unless it's the parasites. Another five hours and we'll get there. Probably need to eat something. I'm not gonna eat any more um meat until I clear that. So I'll go ahead and have one of these. That's fine. And we'll drink something too. No point in being uncomfortable while you're studying. Any more than you have to be. Quiet. Research here. And then we'll see where we're at. Remember, it's about 5 to 7% there. We're healed from the intestinal parasites, which means we can re up next time with some uh, actual bear meat again. And now that goes to our library. Oh, wow. I kind of. And we'll just get right there. There we go. Oh, nice, nice. Nice little uh, bit of books here. Nice variety. Very, uh. Oh, what do you say? Very, uh. Wow, I'm drawing a blank. It's a nice variety. Well, I'll just say that. Diverse. There we go. Gosh. Ugh. How can you not remember that word this day and age? Jeez. Okay. So, let's head over here and take a look and see right here. Ooh, baby. Ooh, I want to go shoot some stuff now. I need to get up to level three. I have a feeling if we uh, get ourselves another bear, which means we get another bear hide. We'll be, uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, up above three, no problem. Feels like the is coming. Now, someone mentioned in the comments, you can get a bear or a moose with an arrow. Um, a bear, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get up on a limb or somewhere where it can't reach you. Find a spot where it can't reach you. Take your shot and then don't go inside. If you go inside, inside a loadable interior, and then come back out, I guess the bleeding resets or something like that. Whereas if you stay out and you track it, you give it enough time, like kill some time and wait long enough, the bear will go. Uh, you can follow the, the blood trail and it will eventually bleed out. Uh, I, me? I prefer just to one shot it. Man. I got almost got to do no scope, almost. Okay, starting to get hungry, starting to get dark here again. Not really that fatigued. Um, what else can I do? I think we can spot the bear. Let's see what we can spot. There's a deer there. Hearing some weird noises. That was weird. Oh, okay. All right. Let me think. Ah, situation. Let's do a little sit right here. That all looks good, man. I don't have any problems there. Got no problems there. I could go for a bear bed roll. Yeah. How much does it weigh? It doesn't, it doesn't say how much it weighs, does it? It don't say. Oh, 11 pounds. It does say. Does it say here? Versus the three pound one that I'm... I think I have a three pounder. It's two pounds, so it's like three times the weight, but it's really good. Really good. Eleven. That's... Man, what should I make? The bearskin bedroll, or I think I need to just make the bearskin bedroll. I don't know if I don't think I need to make this one. The bearskin coat. 
mean, it's really warm too. Going to slow me down 20%. I'm already minus 15. Your skin pants. I really don't think I need those, honestly. Where's my pants at? Five. No, those are the the snow pants. Pants are actually better than the deerskin pants. I'm happy with those. Not worried about that. Uh, the the boots. Five point two degrees and three point four. Five point two and three point four. Five point two and three point four. Yeah, I don't need those either. Armor seven. Negative five. Seven and negative five. So they're a little more agile than these. Point two and three point. But they're not as. And those are 96. They're not as warm. They are kind of cool, though. <laughs> 4.4 pounds. For, these are not going to be 4.4 pounds. These are going to be much lighter. 3.3. I think I'm going to stick with my insulated boots. They're super waterproof. 50% waterproof. Where are these at? 50%. They're the same. I'm just going to stick with those. And maybe we'll just... Uh... You know what? I Do I have a... a uh... Do I have a uh, target out here? Or is that only at the... I think it's only at the barn. I was going to practice my bow shots to see if if you hit in the target if you, if it actually wears the arrow out at all because I wasn't sure. Okay. Well, it's almost dusk. I think I'm going to try to sleep outside tonight. Um I might go on a little bit of a wood run right now. Let's go take a look and see how much wood we have stacked up ready to go for one of those, you know. I, I almost don't need it anymore. I almost don't need to fire anymore. Given my warmth uh, bonuses here. I got a lot of wood, but I don't even need those tinder plugs. We could get rid of those. Those are just annoying to look at. Yeah, we'll, we'll go put them somewhere else. Here. Tinder plugs, where are you at? There you go. There. There we go. They give they do absolutely nothing for us anymore. Let's do a little uh, wood run. See if we can find some wood to chop up as dark sort of sets in here. I will take a shot at the bear next time I see him though. Try to try to repeat. You know, lightning striking twice here. That's what I'm going to try to go for. It's been a long enough time. I think there will be new branches and or limbs down. I hope, anyway. I'm not going to take a shot at the bear in wide open, on a wide open ground though, obviously. There's a, there we go, our limbs are respawned here it looks like. Okay, so let's keep an eye up. Oh, there's another reason too. Look which one's, how much faster that is, it's half the time. So the hatchet is twice as fast. Is out tonight, which means the wolves will be going freaking crazy.
And I don't have the flashlight with me. I left it in the uh, doodad closet. So let's go ahead and head back. Weak. Is that one that I can chop? I think this is one that I can actually chop. Yep. The wolves will be getting a little more bold. And then your eyes get all green. The first wolf that ever killed me. Um, back when I started playing Sandbox. Way back in the day. What, two and a half, three years ago? Was old Green Eyes. And it was at the, uh, the clear-cut um, trailers at Mystery Lake. Those three trailers there near Clear Cut. I was in that derelict uh, cabin behind him and doing something or another. And he uh, just came out of the from the top of the hill there. Came down the hill. His little green eyes are glowing. And made uh, turn me into uh, turn me into dinner. And I hadn't seen the green eyes since until the auroras started popping up and. Uh, and that's when we started seeing them again. So we're going to be able to listen to a little bit of music tonight. Which should be nice. Actually, you know what? That's right. We're going to stay outside tonight. Do I want to do that, though? Ooh, with the Aurora out. I think we're okay. I think we'll be all right. If not, we'll find out. We'll wake up with a wolf on our neck. It's happened before. So, let's just do it. Let's just uh, drop our wood here. There we go, nine pieces of wood, extra piece of uh, tinder we'll just put over here, out of sight, out of mind. There we go. Alright, what's our temp at? 41? Yeah, we'll be alright. Sleep out here. I'm just trying to stave off all the uh, cabin fever a little bit. So it seems like I've been inside a lot, doing this whole studying for almost 20 hours, plus sleeping inside these last couple nights, and uh, repairing the hacksaw for a while there. Uh, pretty much been inside since we made it back. So I think it's time to spend a little bit of time out here. Uh, warmth bonus, there we go. A little bit too hungry, though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat one of those pieces of uh, bear meat. Is there a gamey one over here? There we go. That's what I want. Gamey rabbit, sure. Go inside it while I eat. Go. That's just a small amount of calories right there. 188 calories. A little morsel. Rabbit. And there we go. Alright. Oh, we're back to 1% again. No biggie. No big deal. I could, uh, I think I could just sleep right out here underneath the, uh, spotlight and be safe. I'm sure the wolves don't, they will never come inside the, uh, the light to the light like that. It scares them now. That's why the flashlight's so effective. Actually, I might want to get that before I go lay down, because if I wake up and there's a wolf right there, I won't have to shoot it. I should just be able to scare it away with the flashlight. So let's go do that. Might as well have the flashlight during the aurora. And let's get our... There we go. Rock that piano, you. Somebody out there has uh, still got the radio station going. I wonder if I could change the music up there at the radio tower. Wouldn't that be neat? If I could actually like play that funky music DJ sort of thing. Uh, where are we at? I'm looking in the wrong category here. Flashlight, where are you at? You're over here somewhere. I know you are. There you are. Now, I don't think the flashlight works on the... Uh... I wonder if it works on the bear. Oh, stop that. Actually, I keep bumping the number two to the two button all of them.
Okay. There we go. We'll have it ready to go just in case we need it. And if not, we can always transition. Do a little transition drill right over to the rifle and, you know, one, one shot it. So let's get ourselves some sleep here. Here we go. I think we'll be all right. Man, probably shouldn't rest that long. Not in stalker mode. Let's just do that. Just in case the temperature goes really south. Like, goes negative 80 on us. It was pretty cold. Oh, the Aurora stopped too, so... Yeah, it's not going to help anymore. All right. Don't depend on electronics. Um... Let's get another four hours here. Twenty-nine degrees. Okay. Yeah. Let's try two hours then. Let's let's do short bursts. Yep. Let's see where we're at come morning time. Or this, not morning time, in the next hour. Let's see where we're at. It's starting to get a little bit cold. 21 degrees. Wow. Air temp's negative 31. Peace. And I'm sleeping outside in a sleeping bag with no fire. And that's how much I'm losing heat right there. That's not bad at all. Not bad. I think we're about ready to go to a coastal, guys. I, I really do. I think in the next episode, we're gonna. Oh man, we got some crafting to do, though. Gosh, we can't leave the hides behind. Yeah. We gotta do some crafting, and then we'll uh, move to coastal. We got enough room to probably take the hides with us once they're cured. I think once they're cured, they're lighter. I think. I'm about ready to make the jump, man. How are we doing? Pretty well rested. Starting to get cold. There we go. Alright, hopefully that helps satisfy the uh, little bit of a, a vaccine to the uh, cabin fever ailment. Man, I think we're about to go. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll craft up some arrows. Let's go do that right now. And let's start prepping. Make the jump back to Coastal. As much as I don't want to leave Pleasant Valley, I mean, it's a fun place and everything, but Coastal's going to be where we live. And I think we'll, uh, what we'll probably do is go past Coastal to Mystery Lake, see if we can't find some more books, things like that, resources, ammo. Um, not that we're desperately needing ammo by any means, but... Uh, how heavy are these? Okay, let's take a look at this. That's 1.65 pounds, and this is 0.65. They're exactly the same. Okay. One. It's gonna be a little heavier. I could use Three. This. Point two. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's as bad as I thought. Six five. Okay, so we're gonna have to carry all that. We got these cured guts. We can turn those into. Uh, let's turn these into. Um, man, I don't really want to. Uh, I think once they're cured, they don't have any scent. Let's go test that out. All right, I got a bunch of them. If I'm stinky, see, it should show stink lines. If I ping these wolves out here, I'm gonna test it on these wolves. I think we'll be all right. I don't think we're gonna pull them real fast. We'll see if he just does his normal patrol or if he sort of comes after me. Come at me, bro. Okay, I think once they're cured, we can travel with them without pinging wolves. Yeah, they're just doing their own normal patrol. And the amount of guts I'm carrying right now, they should be all over me. If they were fresh guts. The radius would definitely be way past them by now.
What are you, cold? Oh, yeah, he is kind of cold. Those are some hardcore wolves right there, man. I feel pretty comfortable carrying the, the guts. I have to. Okay. So we can carry all these resources here with us. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, we do have to wait for this one wolf hide to cure completely. Only 38. I, I could probably take it with us. I don't think it's going to pull anyone. Let's grab it. See what happens. Let's see if it pulls. It's the same weight, so there's no benefit to waiting. See if it, let's see if the wolf, the hide pulls. I don't know. Where are they at? There they are. Okay, so there he is. He's walking across. Same distance as before. I think. Yeah. We're going to be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine traveling with all this stuff. And as long as we get good weather. Right now, it's just too cold to travel. Honestly, and that's surprising to say. It's been so long since I've said that. Let's see if I can get up here and see a bear. Over here in the distance, anywhere. I don't see. I don't see Yogi anywhere. Okay. Let's see what our max weight's going to be here. Another part of me thinks, you know what? We got this food here. We got a good thing going on. Maybe I should just basically sort of just survive here for a while. No need to rush off. Right? Because we're in it for the long haul. Let me just pick all this stuff up and see what our weight is. Okay, we're overweight now. We don't have any ropes to go up or down. Where are we at? 67. That's not bad. And then we're going to grab some ma matches. All the matches. Um, fire strikers. That sort of thing. All the fire starting stuff. Actually, I probably don't even need to do that. Just take all the matches. i would be fine. Maybe an extra fire striker. I guess. So we're pretty good. All right, let me just go ahead and think this through if I want to stay here or if I want to go. What do you guys think? I'm going to wait to make the next episode. I want to, I'm going to wait until after this one posts where I make the next episode. You guys let me know. Should I pause it? Should pause it here? Should I stay here for another 40 days or so and just sort of survive off the land and try to get another bear, bear hide? Um, or should I try to make the jump right now to coastal? I don't really, the thing is we have all that bear meat there and I know how to eat it in a very sort of safe way where you have two pieces, 4%. By the time, just about the time you start to get hungry again is when you get rid of the 4% risk for parasites and you can basically eat again for more bear meat. So I could sit out here and really survive for indefinite amount of time. Tell me what you guys think. I, th I think staying here, me personally, my vote is for staying at the homestead and just sort of surviving off the land and trying to wait, wait, keep our eyes open for that bear, try to get another hide from him in order to make either the coat or the bear roll. And let me know what you think on that one. Coat or bear roll? What should I do on that? So should I stay here at, at the homestead or should I jump to coastal? And should I make the, uh, the coat? Or the better the better roll out of the uh, bear the next bear skin that I get. Leave your comments in this episode and let me know. See you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.